OK, a few weeks ago, we asked people to send us photographs of kind of bodged custom jobs. And the address we gave out was, I'm a clot and I've ruined my car. Now, funnily enough, we didn't get too many responses to that, but we did get a lot from people who addressed their envelopes, my neighbour is a clot and he's <laughs> ruined his car. OK, now let's see the first one here on the screen. Look! Oh! What I find particularly interesting about this is the crook lot. <laughs> <laughs> Who the hell does he think is going to steal it? And then if he has to report it to the police. Yes, yeah. it's, a, it's a Peugeot 205 XS. Yeah, with, uh, with flames growing out the, <laughs> uh, or, the uh, side of it. Or worse still, if they find it and he hasn't told them, we found your car, sir. You won't believe what they've done to it. <laughs> Yeah, I did it myself. Um, right, I've got one here. It's a Citroen BX, OK? Sensible car, otherwise. Look at that! <laughs> I mean, clearly what's happened, he was on the ramp having it fixed and he just drove off and took the ramp with him. <laughs> and, of course, what's interesting about the BX is it's got a suspension that goes up and down. It's... <laughs> a beach is gonna... <laughs> he is gonna get stuck. That is amazing. OK, now listen. There was one that was sent in, I just howled, because plainly what the guy had done was magnetise his whole car and then drive through a branch of Halfords. Shall we see that? Yes! <laughs> that is one of the best. <laughs> what, what, what does he think he looks like? Uh, but actually there was another, OK, look at this. Some bloke magnetised the interior of his car and then went through a scrapyard. Look at this one. <laughs> Another hundred dials will be fine in that. Right, spoilers. It turns out, and I think we kind of know this, spoilers are a very rich vein here to explore when it comes to, well, spoiling your car thoroughly. And here, I think this is awesome, OK? It's on a Porsche. Look at that! <laughs> now that, that is a spoiler. No, That's it isn't. Really... No, no, no. No, this is tiny. <laughs> this is a pathetic little thing. I'll show you something. Much bigger this one. Yeah! America, isn't it? Hey, I've got a bigger one. It's going to tip over. It must. That's just extraordinary. I have to say, OK, my absolute favourite, though, is, uh, is... Let's just see the roof of it here. Now, this is fair enough. The guy's obviously a fan of the Dukes of Hazard and the, uh, and the General Lee car with Nothing the Confederate with flag. Nothing wrong with it at all. Let's now have a look at the car. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's a Vauxhall Cavalier, I think isn't so. it? Oh, you can see through that. You can't you? just write Dodge Charger <laughs> on the back. <laughs> Next week, I'm going to turn it into a Lamborghini using the same <laughs> technique. Now, uh, judging by the film there, you didn't much go for the Pluriel. No. It's a shame. I really wanted to like that because it is quite kind of cutesy looking and it is clever with all that adaptation stuff, but you just... The roof is such a faff. Drive you mad. Really Excellent would. hire car. Yeah. Oh, on holiday, yeah. Because yeah. then you can give it back. At the end. And that gearbox, <laughs> it, it just <laughs> drove me mad. I am told it's quite safe, though. It's very mm. safe. It did very well. NCAP crash test, four stars, which is about the safest super mini. And that was... That was with the roof rails off, so it's a four-star cabrio. The thing that worries me most of all about it is, listen, listen to this, it's hollow. Yes. It's come, there's nothing in it at all. Has that it got an it. engine? Yeah, you can have 1.4 or 1.6, but... <laughs> So we wouldn't have that. Right, no. let's just run through the others very quickly. The Daihatsu Cope in a good car or a bad car? Good car. Good He's car? It's it. fantastic. Oh, it's... No, you're not going to get this, I know, but that car, it's small, it's silly. All it does is make the rest of the world massive. You know, like the incredible shrinking man in that film where the telephone keeps getting bigger in his hand? No. All right. But I'm sure it happened. I'm sure <laughs> it didn't happen. I just don't remember it. OK, yeah. well, it's a bit like that. You sort of drive around amongst these massive road signs and huge hatchbacks. It's absolutely Can't say brilliant. I just did myself. I it was all right. <laughs> <laughs> Beetle, would you buy one or not? No. Nope. No. <laughs> Pluriel, we've done. What about this finished in lovely baby diarrhoea here? What? Yeah. Yeah. In any other colour, that is a fabulous four-seater cabinet. Yeah. It really is the business, yeah. It yeah, is. Yeah. Actually, I've driven this. I know it to be a Super. very, very Super. good car. What about the Mercedes? Would you buy one of those? Possibly, but not with that engine. That's the 500 V8. I don't know about you, but driving a convertible, I sort of think you either have a performance car and you drive it vigorously, or you take the top off and you... Waft. Smell the cow pad. So you might as well have the little engine. You might as well. But if you have a little engine, why have that? Why not have the Audi? I was about to say, you might as well have the Audi, Frank. I can't see why you'd take the Merc over the Audi. Have the Audi. 
So of all of them, which do you like the most? Audi, Copen. So yeah. we've basically decided, of all these convertibles, we like the Audi and we like the Copen. Yeah, excellent. But I, could, I can't drive that coach. You would look spectacularly you... ridiculous. I hope you do one day. I'd love to see it. I've got to You're try this out. Go I've got to see what this looks like. I've got to see that. It's not so much a car as a shoe. I said, <laughs> Oh, look at that. That's fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> That's fun. Really, do you know the really funny thing <laughs> is, is that if I did more than 500 miles in it, I'd end up with hair like this guy. Look. <laughs> look at this. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, dear. I don't know. <laughs> I think you should just work harder and buy an SL. But there we are. <laughs>